churros in Mexico are something you eat kind of like a snack, but at any time of day. It could be at breakfast, in the afternoon, in the evening. I don't think there's a right or wrong time. I am Fanny Gerson. I'm the chef founder of a donut shop called Fan Fan Donuts. And I also own a company dedicated to Mexican sweets called La New Yorkina. And I'm gonna show you how to make churros. To get started, we're gonna have some water and some Mexican cinnamon. Mexican cinnamon is kind of soft and is more floral. All you're trying to do is infuse some of that beautiful and delicious cinnamon into the water and we're gonna reduce it until we have about two cups. So churros are very popular in Mexico, where I'm from, but they arrived to Mexico from the Spaniards. Now in Spain, they're very different. Most places in Spain, for example, just have water and flour, that's it. But some people say it's actually, you know, has like a Moorish origin. But I'm gonna make this version that um, I learned when I was traveling around Mexico doing research for my cookbook. All right, so this seems to be about ready. So we're gonna take it off the heat and we're gonna strain it. And you need about two cups. So if you have a little bit less, don't worry about it, just add a little bit more water. After you strain it, you're gonna put it back in your pot and we're gonna put the butter. And then you're just gonna add a little bit of salt and we're gonna bring this to a boil. You wanna just stir it, make sure all of the butter is dissolved. All right, so I'm gonna turn this down. I'm gonna add this all-purpose flour all at once, okay? So it's gonna look kind of lumpy at first and feel liquid and then all of a sudden you're gonna be like, oh my God, I'm getting a, an arm workout. <laughs> if you see it all, it's all coming together, like a round ball, you don't see anything, nothing is sticking to the sides or the bottom. And now we're just gonna turn it off and set it to the side because we're gonna need to add some eggs, but if you add them right now, you're gonna make kind of like scrambled eggs, but in an unpleasant <laughs> way. While this uh, sits, we're gonna make a caramel sauce. So traditionally, churros are served with hot chocolate or a chocolate sauce, but I don't know, I was kind of in a caramel mood. We're gonna start with putting some sugar. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of water. I'm gonna stir it up with my hand. And then I'm just gonna open it slightly. And with my hand, I'm gonna wet it and I'm gonna clean the sides. So now we're gonna turn it up and basically this is gonna boil. So once you start seeing the caramel turn color, you can now move it a little bit if you want. And when you make the caramel, you just let it do its thing. You can kind of swirl it a little bit just so that it evens out. So what you're looking for is a color, like a deep amber color, but the best way to tell that it's ready is gonna be through your sense of smell. It's almost in the back of your throat. It smells slightly bitter. You can also turn it off at this point so you feel you can have more control because the residual heat is going to allow it to continue cooking. Now, very important, when you add this, this is going to splash. You don't want to burn yourself. So you add a little bit, heavy cream. I turn it off and then it's going to really, really bubble and sizzle, but this steam can really, really hurt you. Once it kind of stops bubbling like crazy, you can kind of stir it a little bit, and then you're gonna add the rest. So now you're just trying to get it to dissolve and come together. And then we're gonna add the butter. The flame is still turned off. You have enough heat, so all of that's been dissolved. And then you add the vanilla at the end, a generous couple pinches of salt, and then that's it. Beautiful. All right, so I forgot to tell you an important thing that while you're uh, putting this uh, part of the dough to rest, you wanna cover it so it doesn't form like a crust. It's not a big deal, it's still gonna come out delicious. This is almost ready. You want it to be warm, but not hot. While this is almost ready, I'm gonna prepare something so we're gonna be making churros, as you know, but I'm gonna show you how to make churro ice cream sandwiches. All right, so you want to make some rounds, whatever size you want, there's no right or wrong. You just wanna put a little spray so it sticks to it, and you're gonna put the side that you mark them in 
on the bottom because you don't want to get any of that ink in your, in your churros. Once your dough is, has cooled enough, doesn't burn you when you touch it, then it's ready. We're gonna add the queso fresco. It's a fresh cheese, it's delicious. It's very similar to ricotta, but I think this is what makes this particular recipe a little something special. We're gonna crumble it a little bit as you add it, and then we're gonna add the eggs. Now, for this part, you may not need both eggs. So I'm gonna show you the consistency that you're looking for, or you may need an extra egg. So you're gonna see the little specks of the queso fresco. That's totally fine. So you wanna make sure the egg is fully incorporated before you add the next one. So you're gonna kind of stop it, scrape the sides a little bit. So first it's gonna feel like it's kind of sliding, like it's not coming together, but just give it a little time and then it's slowly gonna start coming together. So when you grab it, it should feel soft, you know, that it has some kind of pull to it, you know, but it doesn't sort of stick to, to the palm of my hand. Look at that, that's another way, like you can kind of see. Do you want to use a star tip? So I'm just going to put it inside and you don't have to put all of it at once. You can put half of it uh, just to make it easier to handle. I'm going to show you how to make these first because we want to make sure we have enough this to have a couple of ice cream sandwiches. You're going to pipe around, but basically you kind of lift the tip up a little bit and that's so that you have more control. And while it comes up to temperature, you're actually gonna cut this. Once it reaches 350, you're going to carefully slide this together with the paper, right? And then it's gonna come off. So there you go. You, you can add a few at a time. So you don't want to overcrowd them. You're gonna let them kind of sit without moving and after a minute or so, you can kind of move them around. So you kind of want to keep your eye to the thermometer. That's your best way because when you add something to it, the temperature is gonna drop and you want it to, you know, anywhere between 350 and 360 is kind of the sweet spot where you want to be. You want them to be golden on all sides, even in the center, just because you don't want it to be raw and the center is the hardest part to get cooked. All right, so once they're nice and golden, you're gonna take them out carefully. Um, you want them to drain a little bit before we coat with the cinnamon sugar, just because they're super hot and you don't want to burn yourself. You want to make sure they're still warm though, because otherwise the cinnamon sugar won't stick to it. I'm going to show you how to make the churros. So for this, you want just a regular pair of scissors, and then you're just going to gently dip and just kind of uh, take the excess oil off. You're going to squeeze this directly onto the oil and you're going to stop depending on however long you want them. So one way to do it is you take the scissors and that's it. Or you can use your hands. So once I have a few, I kind of just let them be for a little bit. And then also these, because of the egg, it's going to expand a little bit. You want to have enough space. So you want to be very careful as you take them out. Again, don't worry if they split a bit. I'm gonna toss these. I'm ready to make my ice cream sandwiches. You just want like just a little container with hot water. You're just gonna scoop a little bit out. Oh my God. And then you're gonna take another piece and kind of, this is gonna be messy. Mmm. I'm gonna do a churro dance. This is so, I need a moment. This is so, so good. It's crunchy on the outside, but it has it's a little bit soft in the inside. And then this, here you have your caramel sauce. Oh my God. Mm. I did forget to say that you could actually add a little bit of booze, but even just like this, it's so good. 
If you want to make it at home, you can find the recipe in the link below, or you can order my Sweet Mexico cookbook. Um, if you're in New York, come visit me at Fan Fan Donuts, or check La New Yorkina out if you just want to sit back and enjoy and order them to your house. Whoa, did you see that? The freakiest thing happened today at work. All of a sudden, this container that has donut croutons fell to the floor. But I mean, there was nobody, nobody even close. I was like, no, <laughs> no, no, no.